Unintimidated even by Larry Legend, Jordan let it all hang out, displaying much more than mere hang time. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kepler. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hello and good day everyone, welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David, thanks for tuning in, let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at 10 Michael Jordan moments that no real Jordan fan will never ever forget. But before we dive into that, let me ask you guys for a small favor, please subscribe to the channel, like the video and don't forget to click the notifications button so you never miss an episode of the Basketball Time Machine. Alright, enough said, let's get right into it. Now the first moment that I want to take a look at is a Michael Jordan versus Bill and Beer moment. And obviously those two never really got along, but Jordan every once in a while got back and paid back Bill and Beer. Let's have a look. Two shots in the game. He only had eight in game number five. Well, Detroit will calm you down. They'll work their plays. Steal. He kept it in bounds. Here it is again. Oh! done a lot of great shots, but I've never seen this before from him. Well, you see, it was an excellent save. Now, when he gets it back, you'll see him elevate do a 360 and just toss it When up. we talk about the greatest Michael Jordan dunks, there's always one dunk that always gets mentioned, and it is the Michael Jordan versus Patrick Ewing moment. Let's have a look. Jordan trying to shake oh, off oh. Starks. Oh, what a move by Jordan! It counts! And the foul! <laughs> Oh, I'm going back out. No, I think I'm going to go baseline. Then I'm going to jump up. Oh, you jumping with me? Michael said, I'm going higher and higher and higher. Bam! I'm like, how the hell did he get out of that corner? We had him trapped. <laughs> uh, he was like Houdini, Houdini at the time. He got out of that that, that uh, trap that me and Oak uh, put on him. Oak kind of opened up the back door on him, so to speak. And... Uh, and he did it so quick, uh, Patrick just didn't really have enough time to uh, react. Michael Jordan uh, loved to go against Patrick Ewing and usually got the best of Ewing and the Knicks. And I can imagine how many conversations have followed over the years about that particular play. Now, obviously, Michael Jordan had countless incredible games, but no game in his early career is so magnificent as the 63 points in the Boston Garden. Let's have a look. Boston Garden was home to many great Celtic championship teams, but the 1985-86 Celtics, led by three-time MVP Larry Bird, were truly something special. They posted a franchise-best 67-15 record that season, which earned them a meeting with Michael Jordan and the Bulls in the first round of the playoff. Going baseline. Michael Jordan, the basket good and a foul. Fantastic quickness going to the baseline. That was a pickpocket move if there ever was. Taking the tempo away from the Celtics, trying to Michael Jordan right now. What a great shot and a basket and a foul. When Michael Jordan had his first comeback, many people doubted that Jordan was still the same player, but they all started to rest their mouth when Jordan had the double nickel game in the Madison Square Garden. Let's have a look. Oh my, Michael is back. We'll have the tip off in just a moment. Michael, how you doing? At guard at 6 6 for North Carolina, number 45, Michael Jordan. All right, Michael Jordan, I guess a nice round of applause, a longtime nemesis of the Knicks. And there is number 45, in case you haven't heard it already. Jordan wore that number in junior high, wore it as he went to baseball for 18 months. So Michael comes back. New York City loves playing in this gym. Jordan, 15 footer. Look out. Yes, Michael Jordan hitting on his first field goal attempt. My whole attitude was just relax, let the game come to you. And he shoots again. 
is two for two to start this game. I could tell in the first quarter I really had something going. They're going to keep going to the well with Jordan that starts. Double team. Oh, too late. Oh. Prior to his premature retirement, nobody guarded Michael Jordan straight up better than John Starks. The Knicks still plan to have him go one-on-one. -on -one. Michael Jordan, he's on fire. A lot of times I come in here, you want to do so well here, you get a little tense. In all the games I've seen Jordan play, I've never seen him go like this. Those are very happy, positive butterflies, but they are in his stomach. It's 20 first quarter points for Michael Jordan. Now, obviously, Michael Jordan had countless game winners, and me being a Michael Jordan fan, I love every single one of them. But let's have a look at the game winner against the Utah Jazz in the 1997 NBA Finals. Discipline defense forced the fadeaway jumper. Don't foul. Jazz hold. We're down to five. Jordan putting moves on Russell. We're down to two. Now to one. Here's Jordan. Yes! It is all over. The Chicago Bulls have won at the buzzer in game one of the best of seven on the jump shot by Michael Jordan. Phil Jackson, so so calm all the time, gets up and goes, all right, I like that guy on my team. The Bulls have three seconds to try a shot and try to win the game. You'll see the drama unfold. Now, how will Cleveland defense Jordan? His ability to take over games, his ability to want to have that last shot and demoralize you and, yes and scare the living hell out yes. of you when we think of michael jordan he's just just that competitive fire you know i believe that he every night he stepped on the floor he put on a cape sellers will inbound sellers has jordan jordan with two seconds to go puts it up Now when we talk about Michael Jordan, we not only talk about a great offensive player, but obviously also a great defensive player. And even when he was almost 40 years old, he had some incredible plays on the defensive end of the floor. So let's have a look at the block against Ron Mercer. Now, it's a six point lead for the Wizards. Time left in the game, right hand corner of your screen. And you know they got some good free throw shooters. They spread it out. Jordan on the wing against our test. Michael Clark blocked block by our test. Oakley to Mercer. Mercer on the run. Oh, by oh, what a play. What a defensive play. A two-hand block, steal, game set, match. Now I only need to say two words, flu game. No matter how sick I was, how tired I was, I felt the obligation to my team to see the Chicago to go out give that extra effort. The big story here tonight, the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. This Jordan arriving about two hours ago. He is suffering from flu-like symptoms. I always felt that Michael liked it best when it was the toughest odds against him. And while it's never really fun to be sick, it just added to the legend. And Jordan trying to slip it. When people talk about Michael Jordan weaknesses, they sometimes mention his three-point shots, which in my opinion is bullshit. And he proved that in the 1992 finals against the Portland Trailblazers, so let's have a look. Yes! 18 for Michael Jordan. 
they match up once again. Here's Jordan to the fadeaway. 20 for Jordan. Jordan for three. That's his fourth three-point 